Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I thought it would be fun to play around with the Alyssa Edwards palette. This is a very bright and colorful palette. It's very brightly pigmented. And so I thought, you know what, let's do something dramatic. I think I'm going to try to do like a cut crease or something else really. Pow, I've done a lot of natural neutral looks lately. So I was like, you know, what? let's just have a little fun. So I'm going to do the eyes first because I'm just not sure um, <laughs> what I'm doing and I don't want to have lots of fallout and stuff. I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to doing a cut crease, so this will be a little interesting. I also have hooded eyes, which makes it doubly interesting, but I'm going to give it my best go. So I'm going to be using the ABH Eye Primer. I really like this. I find it's pretty similar to the Urban Decay Eden where it kind of blanks out your eyelids. I feel like it does a pretty good job of controlling the oil on my lids and making sure that my eyeshadow doesn't crease. And I do find that if I get a little too much, I can just kind of go under the eye too and it kind of helps prime for my future primers and whatnot. But I definitely have noticed that I can get too much and then it's like, <laughs> yeah, so just a little goes a long way. <laughs> So a tip I learned recently was to fill in your eyebrows before you do your eyeshadow just to kind of help with placement. And so I'm going to do that. See how that works for me. Sometimes it really helps you with like the shape of your eyes and things to kind of see where you're going first. I think I'm going to go in with these purple blue shades, then maybe do like the yellow on the lid. We'll see what happens. So I think I'm going to start off with Supreme just to kind of have something there to have a nice transition. I'm going to go into headliner, which is the white, and just kind of put that under my brows here. And now I'm going to go into the shade Unicorn Tribe. Seems appropriate with my headband. I feel like this shade is a lot more pink than purple. It looks like, I don't know, it looks very purpley to me in the pan, but it goes on the eye. Very pink. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the Supreme to kind of pop that kind of orangey right there. It's like a little sunset, if you will. All right, so now I'm going to go into Believe and start working that in. So I'm just going back and forth between Believe and Unicorn Tribe just till I get kind of the pigmentation and blend that I'm looking for. Okay, so now I'm going to take a more flat kind of blending brush and go into Dream It. And I'm going to kind of stamp that right above where my crease would go. Alright, now it's the part where I hope I don't screw it all up. <laughs> I'm going to take some thick concealer. This is the e.l.f. Coverage Maximum Coverage Concealer. I am going to put this down and then immediately I'm going to cover over it with headliner. That way it sets it because my eyes are hooded. It's going to kind of imprint. Oh, I got way too much. All right, now I'm going to go over that with Brick Road. I'm going to try my best to kind of just line it up, but not really blend it. 
because yellow and purple blended together will make a neutral. All right, and there we have it. I'm gonna do the same on this other eye and then I will catch back up with you. All righty, so I got the yellow kind of carved out there and I just use these like fine little brushes and I just kind of go along here to clean it up. So it's never gonna be perfect unless you're like, you know, flawless or Photoshop. This yellow is a little, uh, it's a little powdery, it's a little patchy, so it is a little bit hard to work with, but we're getting there. And I'm taking a small brush and kind of going into the purples and then just kind of lining that out so that it really has a nice edge. just like that gives it a nice little pop there i'm not mad about it all right now i'm going to go in with my physician's formula eye booster in black okay so now i'm going to do my foundation i've got my urban decay all nighter face primer Next, I have one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills sponges, so we'll give this a go. I've already got it wet, and I'm using my Urban Decay Stay Naked Liquid Foundation. Can I just tell you how much faster I run out of foundation now that I wear it all the time because I'm working? Uh, I think this is, like, almost gone already. I feel like I just got it. But it's, like, the same amount as, like, normal foundations. I think it's just the ounce. I feel like this soaked up all that product. Oh, my gosh. Like, I feel like it's all gone. Definitely does a very thin layer. I think this might work better with like thick foundations that you really kind of want to make sure don't get too cakey. Or more for like picking up extra product. It just seems to be soaking up a lot. Cause I've also been using like my little like spongy things and like look at the difference in coverage. Like I know it's a second coat, but like this puts it on so much thicker. All right. So I picked up a TJ Maxx's Too Faced Do You. <laughs> I just dump this literally everywhere. Oh my gosh, luckily most got on my pants and not on the carpet. Whoa. So luckily I did not dump any on the carpet, just on my pants, which are totally washable. But this is the Too Faced Do You Powder. I thought it would be, I don't know, different. <laughs> I didn't think it would have shimmer in it. I bought it at TJ Maxx, so you never know what you're going to get. It was all sealed up, which I was thankful for, but it meant that I just kind of went off the new translucent good for everyone name and didn't know what quite to expect. When I wear it in real life, I feel like I get a little oily, but I thought it might be fun to see what it looks like on camera. It's supposed to like reflect the light and give you like that like flawless like filter in real life. So I just thought I will use it and see if those little glitter particles reflect the light like they're supposed to or if it just looks like a hot mess. So tell me, do I look filtered or just like a disco ball? <laughs> do I look like a Cullen? Be honest. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my NARS Matahari blush. I feel like it's a perfect blush for this type of look because it's a pinky purple. And I've been wearing it a lot lately and really loving it. I 
I'm definitely feeling a little disco ball-y, but we'll see. I'm going to go a little extra with the highlight because why not? All right, I think I'm going to take one of these colors and put it under my lash line. I think I'm going to go with this dark purple shade right here. This is the shimmer one. And I might just put a touch of the yellow. Kind of coming down right there. Yeah. All right, let's do some setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter. And let's see, I need to do some mascara. I would probably feel like this look needs lashes, but I'm kind of scared if I put on these dramatic lashes that it's just gonna cover up the cut crease and no one will be able to see it. So I'm just gonna stick with my trusty dusty CoverGirl Super Size Fibers. Since I've been using so much ABH this video, I feel like I should just finish it off with a lip. Let's see, this is Dead Roses. I think that's too dark. This one is Stargazer. Hmm, I think that might be a little bright. This one is, ooh, Cotton Candy. This one is Orchid. I think I'm gonna do Orchid. It looks like it has a little bit of purple in it. Hey, what's this? I'm putting on my lipstick. But once these are on, they really stay. This is in Orchid, if I didn't say that already. Mommy, what? how pretty is these? I know, they're so pretty, huh? They're all lipstick? Mm -hmm. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this cut crease makeup look and using the Alyssa Edwards palette. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.